Welcome to this video and in this video we'll go over how to get AI, specifically ChatGPT or Claude, sound more human and more like you, your own personality. Because when you post stuff, specifically when it comes to content creation, you don't want the result, you don't want the post to sound like AI wrote it, it's very lame. And I see a lot of that going around. Okay, so in this video, I'll show you the solution. Let's dive in. Cool. So the first thing is that we go to ChatGPT. I have chosen ChatGPT 4.0 as the model to work with. And then I have a prompt over here that you're going to find in the description below, by the way. And basically what this prompt does is it humanizes the content that the AI is going to come out with. And we can go over it very briefly over here. It starts with maintain a casual, easygoing attitude showing professionalism while keeping the output light. Try to mirror me and how I talk based on the conversations we have had. So if you have not had any conversations in ChatGPT and this is the first time that you, uh, you use it, then you would just delete this. And then it says examples of what to write and what not, poor output, in today's fast-paced world, maintaining a balanced diet, this is very AI-like. And then the effective output is we live in a world that we need to maintain a balanced diet in order to blah, 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 rest of the response. Then I give another example over here and a third example. And then I say, speak like effective outputs. Keep the patterns between sentence length and predictability of speech in high randomity, 80%, I say 80%, because humans speak and write in high randomity than AI does. And then let's show you an example. For example, I can say, write an article on football, um, max 300 words. And it says, football, known as soccer in some parts of the world, is more than just a sport. It's a global phenomenon played and watched by millions. It bridges cultures and brings people together. Football's global reach is unparalleled, blah, blah, blah. Okay. It feels like AI to me. Okay, I don't know if you can feel it, but it feels like AI to me. So let's take the prompt over here and then we can say rewrite the above article based on this prompt. Look at that. And it starts with football or soccer, depending on where you're from, is way more than just a game. It's like a universal language that brings people together. You got two teams, 11 players each, all chasing one ball, trying to score. Sounds simple, right? But that's what makes it awesome. Anyone can get it. What keeps anyone, everyone hooked? It's the unpredictability. One second you're biting your nails, the next you're jumping up in excitement because someone just nailed a last minute goal. It's these anything can happen moments that make football so thrilling to us. How nice is that? How amazing is that as a closer to a human response i don't say that this is like the most perfect result ever but how human does it sound it sounds amazing to me at least right and by the way you can do the same in claude which is another ai model that does a fantastic job in keeping the outputs very very human like okay so we can say for example write an article on football keep the following in mind and it starts with, all right, let's dive into football. It's a sport that's got pretty much everyone hooked, right? Whether you're a diehard fan or just tune in for the Super Bowl, there's something about the game that grabs your attention. Football's not just about guys in pads running around on the field. It's a whole culture. Think about it. This is a very human-like way of talking, of writing. And I think this prompt is fantastic in that sense. Okay, so now this is the first level of humanizing content and humanizing how AI writes. But then the next level is tailoring whatever the output is going to be to your own personality. Like not only humanizing it, but making it sound like you specifically. So how do we do it? All right, so how we would go about it is we would go to platform.openai.com, which is basically the platform in OpenAI that you can create assistants, uh, which these assistants are very similar or actually identical to the custom GPTs that you create because a custom GPT is such GPT, but for a very specific narrow function. And this is what you can do with, uh, with platform.openai.com. You can create assistants over here. You can create like custom GPTs over here that you can use for specific actions. And I would recommend that you create assistants here because if you create an assistant here, then you can use that assistant in other platforms like make.com and you can create different automations and different workflows of assistants doing very specific stuff. And for example, if you have created 
a custom GPT over here that does a very specific function. You cannot use that in Make, and you have to create it over here at platform.openai.com. And by the way, guys, if you like content like that, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be coming out with a lot of content on AI automation systems similar to this and more advanced. Cool. So now we're going to create some magic in the different assistants or the, in this specific assistant that we're creating right now. So how we're going to do that is we have to take documents or pieces of information that have your own personality in them and attach them to this specific assistant that we're creating right now. So now where can we take these pieces of information that sound like you or the way that you talk naturally and then attach them here we can do it with emails that you have written with posts that you have posted with voice notes that you have sent to another person or specifically with the transcript of voice notes of these voice notes even if you have shot a video like i'm doing right now then you can take that video you can download the transcript and then i'll show you exactly what to do next okay so let's say this is what i did i went to dscript.com I signed up, it's free, and then you go to new project, audio project. And then I will upload this file, which is one of the YouTube videos that I have shot. Fantastic. And now it's analyzing the transcript. And then at some point, the transcript is going to be complete. All right, so I took the transcript and I pasted it in one of these document files. And then I saved the document file. And by the way, this is what you do when you have an audio file of you talking in that file. If you have, for example, a bunch of emails that you have written, or a bunch of your posts and stuff like that, then you can copy the emails or copy the posts and then just drop everything in one document over here, okay? And then just save it on your computer. And then the next step is to go over here. You have to toggle this on over here at Tools. And what I did is I clicked over here on Files, then I clicked Upload, and then I took the document and I dropped it here, okay? And how I instructed the assistant was, you're an assistant that talks like me. Your output should be in a way that I naturally talk. Then I dropped that specific prompt that I showed you before. And then in the end, I said, always check the attached file before your output. This is a transcription of one of my videos. So decide how you're going to create your output based on the attached file too. So when you create an assistant over here at platform.openai.com, then you can come, for example, at uh, at make.com which is an automations tool you can create workflows and automations and it's fantastic it's one of the main tools that i work with right now but for example if you have a module which module is just one step of the of the workflow and your module is ChatGPT, then you can click on message and assistant and then you can find this specific assistant that we just created or you're gonna create in your own case and then you can include that assistant with your voice in the automation so for example if you're creating content or if you have to write something you have to write an email then that email or that content comes out naturally in the way that you would naturally talk or in the way that you would write okay so this is pretty much it for the video guys hopefully you liked it if you did hit the subscribe button hit the like hit everything and i'll see you in the next video